Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan. Today we're going to talk about the psoas muscle. What's the psoas? You know how people a lot of times talk about the core, like you got to work out your core. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what they're talking about. A lot of times they don't know it, but that really is what they're talking about. Okay. All right, so this is a little rack that we had that we used for the Special Olympics plane pool that we do every year. And usually we just have it apart sitting here on the back of the garage. But when the coronavirus came and all the gyms closed, we put it together. Um, we did have a couple of bars, old bars that we used, and we were able to use, um, instead of a bench, there was hardly any benches for sale. We used a, basically an old cooler, and we're using some bricks and stuff. We're gonna show you guys how we did a lot of those things. And even though the gyms are opening back up, we're probably not gonna go because we just don't, there's so many restrictions and all that, we're just, we're just gonna stay here for now. So anyway, we did have this rack, we put it together, very cool. When, go ahead and show them some leg lifts here. I'm gonna back up a little bit. You're gonna hold that bar, you're gonna bring those knees up, right? Yeah, those are leg lifts. Now, the cool part about this is, Jack is gonna use his psoas and his hip flexors. That is a very important part of the core there. Very, very good. The only problem is, is a lot of people might not have something like this and you know you don't really have that option then so what i did is especially because i'm so much taller my legs would hit the ground i wanted to get a nice good stretch and everything i went to the old home depot right and i got a bar and i put it all the way up here on the top this literally cost me 17 bucks and i just put it right into the studs with some big huge bolts and i hung on this thing me and jack hung on it together and everything and basically it has no problem holding us whatsoever we did not bolt it in we just screwed it in with like big huge wood bolts and i put five of them in there so it's really 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 strong okay so what i did basically put this thing in here i just got enough hand uh you know hand clearance and this is just one of those awesome stretches guys if you got a garage you could probably honestly even put this in a room somewhere we do not have massively high ceilings or anything, but if you put it real close to the ceiling like this, you can get that clearance. You can see my legs will dangle just a couple inches from the floor. This is one of the best stretches you'll ever get. You can kind of twist like this, turn a little bit. Oh man, what a great stretch, what a great stretch. Now, you can do like Jack was doing here, do some leg lifts, or if you really want to get high, you can try to touch your elbows with your knees. Get them real nice and high. You can even try to touch the ceiling with your feet like this get a real high okay that's an awesome awesome ab exercise what that's going to do when you're hanging like that it's going to use all of your ab muscles but especially those really good lower muscles the hip flexors the psoas this is the core that everyone is talking about when they talk about the core a lot of people think that sit-ups and everything are pretty good they are going to use your abdominus erectus muscles they are going to give you some good nice looking things but if you really want to help to prevent injury when you're doing exercise, and especially hernias, hernias are so incredibly common. And one of the main reasons people get hernias is they don't have strong core, strong abdominal muscles, strong psoas muscles, all that. So if you do something like this, this is a very cheap investment. Literally took me 20 minutes to put this up with a drill and, you know, and, uh, and 17 bucks at Home Depot. Awesome investment. I do um, recommend doing this kind of thing. It's really, really, really good. Again, I've seen so many hernia surgeries go bad. So if you want to prevent that, this is a good kind of thing to do. They also have arm bands and things like that. So if you're not able to actually hold on, they have bands that you can buy that will clip onto this and you can put your arms in there and they'll hold you. You've probably seen those. I'll put a link in the description. I like to hold on. I like the stretch it gives me and it increases forearm strength and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, what an awesome, awesome idea to just invest a little bit of money and, and a couple minutes to get something like this. We really enjoy it. We do it like in between a lot of our other sets when we're doing maybe on a chest day, we do some bench and stuff. We do this in between, things like that. So check it out. I'm going to put some links in the descriptions about hernias, about the psoas muscle, about the core, um, things like that. Try to check this kind of thing out. It's really important to help prevent those kind of problems. It is unbelievable how many people have these problems. I've been working in nursing and rehab for so long and it's unbelievable. So we're gonna show you a couple more adaptations of this and stuff. And again, try to stay fit, try to stay healthy, try to prevent injuries. One of the tips you wanna do here is, go ahead and lift your legs up, buddy. Is, you notice he's not leaning his head back. 
You don't want to like swing and try to go into like a somersault type of motion. You want to keep your head down and you want to pull your knees up like that. Very good job, buddy. Very good job. Ultimately, guys, when we hung this up, again, just as a reminder, we're not carpenters. We're not builders. We're not contractors. We're a father-son team and I'm a nurse, but it's really not rocket science. Be careful. If you don't know how to do something like that, look it up. You know, take a little drill, drill it to the studs, get a stud finder if you don't know how to do it, find a stud. I, honestly, I just went up into the attic, you know, and I just looked where the stud was because we got an attic door right over there. And I looked where the stud was and I made sure I drilled some holes and I took some big, huge wood um, screws. They're basically bolts, but they had sc screws and I screwed it up in there. We both hung by it. Jack's standing on top of the brick right now. That's why he's tall. But uh, I'm like, he didn't grow that fast. But he probably will be taller than me though someday. But basically, we, we, we hung it in, we both hung by it, and we made sure that it was safe. We didn't go swinging on it right away. We hung by it, we pulled on it, we made sure it was, could hold us before we started messing around on it. So use your heads, be safe, think before you do something, and be careful. This is an awesome thing, an awesome exercise, and if you're gonna continue to work out at home like we are, you know, try to push the boundaries, but at the same time, be you safe. You always exercise. That's right. So, something. yeah. But again, think before you do something, be safe, especially if you're working out alone, be safe because if you get injured, what are you gonna do? There's no one around. So be safe, think about things before you do them. We're gonna be showing a lot more of our home workout ideas and some of the things that we've been doing, and those will be coming up. Again, be safe, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.